Before a breakthrough, there's always a battle. Before a move of God, before your circumstances change, the enemy will always try and get you to quit. He will do what he can to either discourage your faith or distract your focus. And he does this so that, so that you never see your miracle. He does this so that you can never push hard enough or long enough for your breakthrough to materialize. But here is what I would like you to know today. The Lord is good to those who wait confidently for Him. To those who seek Him on the authority of God's Word. The Bible tells us here that God is good to those who wait confidently in Him. Not those who wait and complain. Not those who wait and get frustrated. But those who wait confidently in Him. So where's your confidence? Before a breakthrough, there is always a battle. But despite that, where is your confidence? Before a breakthrough, there is always opposition that will test you. But despite that, where is your confidence? I encourage you to raise your faith as you wait with confidence on the Lord. There is an appointment with God for your life to change. There is an encounter with the Lord that is scheduled to remove the stronghold of the enemy over your life. There is a date set, a time set for things to turn around for you. But you have to keep pressing on. You have to keep waiting confidently in Jesus Christ. Don't give up now. Keep believing in God for a change. Keep believing in the Lord for a breakthrough. Now, maybe you can relate to this. Have you ever noticed how the enemy attacks you when you decide to get real with God? It's when you decide to fully give your heart to the Lord. That's when the enemy tries to attack, distract, or discourage. It's when you repent from your sin. It's when you give God your fears and your concerns. It's when you cast your burdens on the Lord. That's when the devil takes notice and begins to devise attacks to get you to quit. And that's because he knows that if you persist, then your breakthrough is just around the corner. But I want to encourage you. There is nothing that the Lord Jesus cannot do. There is no area in your life that God cannot touch. Whether the enemy attacks you or not, the Lord will always have the upper hand. The Lord will always have the victory. And we all need a breakthrough in some part of our lives. But to get to that, we are going to have to fight. We have to fight on our knees. We have to fight sometimes to guard our faith. And so when the devil attacks, that's the time we need to press on and be persistent. And I wonder, how many breakthroughs are we missing out on because we fail to push on and perceive? How many breakthroughs are we missing out on because we aren't willing to wait confidently in the Lord? How many breakthroughs are we missing out on because our expectation and our faith is so small that prayer will result in nothing? God has given us a great invitation. He tells us to come and ask, to ask in faith, and to keep asking in faith until we receive His answer. I encourage you to remain strong and persistent in faith. You are on the edge of a breakthrough. So don't lose heart. Don't give up. Don't be discouraged or downcast. There is victory in Jesus Christ. There is a breakthrough on the other side of your battle. Now, let us pray. Heavenly Father, your word says in Jeremiah 33, verse 3, Call to me, and I will answer you, and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Father, I pray for each and every person listening in agreement right now. 
As we call on you, I pray that you would show us great and mighty things. Show us great and mighty things within our homes and in our families. Do a mighty work in our lives, Lord. For every adverse situation we face, show your hand to be great and mighty. We're praying for divine intervention, Lord, and we invite you to step in. Break every chain that's holding us back from progressing or advancing forward. Break every evil chain that limits us, whether it's in our families, in our marriages, career, or health. Wipe out everything oppressive in our lives. Whatever it may be, I pray that you would. Loose any chains in our lives, just as you did with Paul and Silas. Set us free from whatever it is in our lives that's restricting us. Psalm 145 verse 18 says, The Lord is near to all who call on Him, to all who call on Him in truth. Give us a breakthrough, Lord. We call on the name of Jesus Christ to move mountains. At your name, storms become calm. Lord Jesus, creation sings with joy at the sound of your name. Demons flee at the name of Jesus. Walls and barriers come down at your name. Not only will every knee bow and every tongue confess that you are Lord, but every problem, every stronghold, every force of darkness will be defeated at the name of Jesus Christ. There is no power greater than you, nothing, and no one can stand against you. Help me to fully trust in your power to bring breakthroughs in situations where I cannot find a solution. You have promised that those who seek you, Lord, will lack no good thing. Let me lack nothing as I look to you for every need and desire in my life. I declare a complete breakthrough, and I declare that I am victorious through Christ Jesus. I come against every form of worry in my life. Even though things may seem impossible at times, I trust and believe that with you, Lord, nothing shall be impossible. I pray that the Holy Spirit will guide and direct me always. May He help me to make wise decisions and lead me along a path of righteousness. Lord, make a way for us where there seems there is no way. You alone give us hope in situations where there seems to be no hope. You alone provide endless possibilities in situations that look impossible. We lift up our faith and place our confidence in you so that we may be victorious at the end in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Surely goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives, and that includes breakthroughs over the obstacles of the enemy. That means we have the power through your blood to overcome daily. Direct our steps and fulfill your plans for our lives. Let our feet run swiftly to follow after you. Strengthen us to fix our eyes on you, Jesus. I pray for a supernatural breakthrough. May we begin to see victory and breakthrough at work in our lives. Help us see all the amazing things you have in store for us. Thank you for listening to this prayer, King Jesus. Amen. The Lord is good to those who wait confidently for Him to those who seek Him on the authority of God's Word. Call to me, and I will answer you, and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. The Lord is near to all who call on Him, to all who call on Him in truth. Now faith is the assurance, title deed, confirmation of things hoped for, divinely guaranteed, and the evidence of things not seen, the conviction of the reality 
faith comprehends as fact, what cannot be experienced by the physical senses. For physical training is of some value, but godliness has value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. This is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. That is why we labor and strive, because we have put our hope in the living God, who is the Savior of all people, and especially of those who believe. Jesus said to him, Because you have seen me, do you now believe? Blessed, happy, spiritually secure, and favored by God are they who did not see me and yet believed in me.